So I'm very excited for this. Um, starting us off first, again, these are five minutes. Um, so we're gonna start right with the five minute week. Uh, <laughs> yes. So starting us first is uh, Carrie Gostick with Our Shiny, actually, I'm not gonna say the titles, it's too lightning fast. Carrie, take us away. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Carrie, and today I'm here to tell you about how uh, Apache's Arrow package can be used to link big data stored in AWS with an R Shiny dashboard. Um, oh, and I'm an air quality data scientist, so I work a lot in air quality. So we were tasked with creating an R Shiny dashboard to visualize this data. It came from an EPA monitoring network. Tons of data, the whole data set for this specific network was over 30 million rows, 400 sites all over the country, hourly data, some monitors date back to 2010. So just a lot of data. And what we had available for us, our resources were a professional Shiny Apps license and S3 storage. So it was kind of a puzzle to figure out how to um, do this because uh, the first thing you think of is SQL, but we didn't have a SQL license. Um, so the client wanted two main components for the app. The first were summary metrics, and these could be pre-aggregated into small data frames, not a big deal. But then a data exploration tool was requested where a user could select a site up to two pollutants and view the raw data from that site um, in various visualizations. So this did require a connection to the full data set. And so I'll reference a classic R Shiny setup where all the data used in a dashboard is bundled in our data file and sent up to Shiny Apps along with your dashboard code. So we leveraged this classic setup um, for our aggregated data, uh, but then we also included this other link to our full data set hosted in AWS. And that link was facilitated by Arrow where you can query in real time subsets of your data and bring them into the dashboard. So what's so special about Arrow? I just think that it's underutilized and I'm a little bit salty about it. Maybe it's only because I didn't know about it. I feel like everyone should know about it. It's really fast. You can perform aggregations, joins, filters all before bringing your data into working memory, which is really cool. Um, there's no external software required. It's AWS compatible. It's tidyverse compatible. Um, and best of all, it's free. There's no license required at this time, maybe after this talk. Um, so to drive this home, I'll run through a really quick example. Consider a very simple app. A user selects a pollutant, a site, and gets a time series back. Your data frame is named time series data. It looks like this. Imagine it's millions and millions of rows long. There are only really two main places in a workflow that have to change between a classic R Shiny setup and one that leverages AWS plus Arrow. So the first is in data storage. In the classic R Shiny setup, you take your full data frame, save it to our data. On the, on the right, the AWS plus Arrow uh, setup here, you just leverage one function from Arrow, write data set, and save your time series data frame function directly to AWS just by passing the URI to your bucket. So that's very simple and easy to implement. The second is within your app code when you reference the data. Um, this is just a snippet of code from a server function for that very simple app. You take your full data set, you filter it into an interactive called plot data here, and then you plot it. And the key thing here, you don't have to read the code, is that in purple, your filtering code and plotting code are exactly the same between the work, two workflows. The only thing that's different is what's passed to those filtering functions. Um, the classic R Shiny, you'd pass that entire data frame it would be loaded in working memory. But in AWS plus Arrow, instead, you just pass the connection to the data set that you've written to AWS in that previous step. And then use Arrow's collect function to initiate any computations you have and load only the data you need at that time into your app. And so to summarize, Arrow is fast, memory efficient, and free. It facilitates real-time querying from cloud storage into an R Shiny app. And um, it's very useful in a situation where you have a very big data set, but you only need a subset at any given time, which is what we have here. Um, and it's been great for us. When we tried pushing our whole data set in the classic R Shiny setup, and it took eight minutes just to initiate the app. And with this, it initiates instantaneously, and each query takes 
one to two seconds. It's a great user experience. Um, so that's what I have for you. Here's my email if you have any questions. I had a lot of trials and tribulations, so it's not as easy as I said, but uh, <laughs> you can ask me anything, you know, I might have some tips and tricks. Thank you. Oh, and I have resources here that are in the slide deck that you'll see if you need them. <laughs>